Hi folks, Jeff from Warren Jakers Cars and I'm going to show you this little 1992 Subaru Legacy with a salvage title. Now what does salvage title mean? Well it means it's been whacked and somebody fixed it and they, since the insurance company chose to total it out one time instead of paying for a major repair, they said okay well your car is going to be $5,000 to fix and we're going to give you its value of $2,000 instead, uh, then basically they write it off as a salvage title. Uh, so this basically means somebody has fixed this car and you can kind of see where they kind of fixed the front end there But they basically didn't really do anything to it. Uh, it's just the way it is uh, But it would have costed more to pull out that kind of damage than it would have been to whatever They probably put a new headlight on it looks like that corner turn signal light is new, you know But they just totaled it out before so that's what salvage title means now the car does run and drive fine but it, it looks like it's starting to need some ball joints or tie rod ends with the front end that's why we were selling this car completely as is but it's why it's only thirteen hundred and forty two dollars now the reason I say the ball joints you can kind of see the tire on the inside and this one seems to be wearing a little faster than the outside and if you look at this one you're having the same scenario where that tire is wearing on the inside other than the outside you know on the sides differently so that's what's uh you know alignment might fix that but more than likely you're going to need some tie rod ends or ball joints or something like that i think the girl actually said she put tie rod in so maybe it's just ball joints left to do but i don't know you know we don't get too involved in these cheap cars can't spend a fortune going over them for 1300 so we can sell them for 1300 bucks so you're welcome to come check it out for yourself though if you're interested it does seem to run and drive good and let's take a look inside as you can see it's got some duct tape on the seat belts but the power seat belts do work it's a five-speed manual that's the good one for this year I have had a ton and I mean a ton of problems with 1990s early 90s uh, automatic all-wheel drive Subaru problems and that's the problem with them so let's check and see if this is all-wheel drive Subaru four-wheel drive there you go so it's all-wheel drive all the time. Let's look under the back just to confirm that. And to confirm, it has a CV joint so you know that it's an all-wheel all drive. <sighs> Let's see, what else do we got here that we can show you about this vehicle? It's got power windows. Front two work. The back one, that one's got some duct tape on the trim. The window goes up and down fine. But it has some w tape on the trim because the door was not sealing correctly. You could buy a roll of door, or, or a piece of door sealant for that for probably like 50 bucks or they chose to put a piece of $2 duct tape on it instead. So I'll show you that on the outside though. See, AC, heater, defrost, Five speed manual, parking brake, the parking brake light is on because the parking brake is on. It's got a seat belt light is on because I don't have the seat belt fastened. And the door light is on because I got the door open. It's got a driver's side airbag, still intact. And there's no ABS light on, so that's good. Intermittent windshield wipers and cruise control. And uh, four doors. Let's go take a look in the back. I got some plastic bags in the back right now. I was just collecting them out of my shed here. But there is a tire there. Here's a spare. It's flat, and there's a donut spare. So that's uh, that you know what I know that you know that I know that the spare is flat. I don't feel bad about it. If you uh, drive down the road for six months and then find out that the spare isn't any good, I don't know what's in here. <laughs> it's a pocket. Okay. So there you go. The the hydraulics are good. That's nice. Alaska, don't feed your bear. Speaking of bears, that dog's name is Grizzly Bear. But he's a dog, not a bear, so you can feed him. It's got four doors. Here's that tape on that window. Like I said, I don't know if you can see where somebody just put tape on there. They didn't want to replace the rubber seal. Oh, I forgot to pull the unlock. Those are just sticker pads. Throw them over here in this truck. We're located on Highway 93 North, 13 miles north of Missoula. So we're at mile marker 13. 
Mile marker 13, you see it? It's right down there. We're right here. Orange Acres cars. And uh, when you see those cows, you know you're in the right spot. Because they're always here, they never move around. They always stand in the exact same spot. I guarantee it, or I'll give you a penny. Pop the hood there. And let's take a look. ABS brakes. 2.2 liter four cylinder. That's the best motor Subaru ever built. Is that 2.2 liter? Comes with a B. Until I shut the hood on it. There's a Subaru battery. So you know the person who used real Subaru parts. And I think they put in a new uh, valve cover gasket and new uh, timing belt in this. You know, but like I said, you're welcome to have it inspected. Take a look at it. But hey, it's a cheap car. Uh, don't put too much money into it because you might hit a deer with it tomorrow. So anyway, you've seen it. Uh, check out all our other cars at orangemt.com. Uh, if you want to take a look at this one, you're welcome to drive up here and take a look at it. But if you don't call me first, I might not be here. So give me a holler, 370-5466 or a text. I like text. So 370-5466. Text me or call me. Tell me you're coming. And I'll make sure that I'm here to show it to you. So from Orange Acres and Grizzly the dog. Say hi, Grizz. Grizz, get the bird. Thanks for tuning in.